I know what you're thinking. No! But this is something I probably should have done from the beginning. What I'm going to do is actually going to make a duct tape body. And then I'll cut it off and it'll be easily more poseable than the plaster of Paris. Best of all, it won't take me three weeks to do, but maybe a day or two. So I'm going to finish wrapping up his body and seeing what uh, we can do about getting the tape on. Alright, the primary purpose of the uh, cling wrap is so that the duct tape doesn't stick to the uh, form when I cut it off. So we're going to see how it uh, turns out anyway. And if this doesn't work, we're going with the skeleton. A few moments later. To be honest, I'm not even sure why I started doing that uh, mannequin, the duct tape body. I can already tell I'm not even going to do it. <laughs> so I'm just going to go with the uh, skeleton draped in uh, uh, monster mud cloth. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. An hour's uh, reflection made me uh, decide, no, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm tired of working with that damn body. So there's really not much to do with uh, completing uh, this project. Looks like all I need to do is take these uh, pins, put them in here. Yes, uh, both Jason Becker and Montclair Yes, I can call him Montclair. I don't have to try and fumble over his damn name anymore. Both he and uh, Jason Becker said, just uh, wire it right into uh, this block right here and to use these pins. So I'll just stick the pins in here and then I just attach the wires to the pins. I, know, I seem to have a lot of extra parts though. <laughs> Not quite sure why. Even though I had my hand wrapped around it, one still managed to go flying. How the hell is that possible? Gotta use my little screwdriver here to open these up. Okay, so the red is actually gonna go on this side here. All I'm doing is just sliding in here. I'm just sliding the little pin into the block. and then tightening down the screw to hold it in place. Red goes to VCC, which is over here. And then green. And then yellow. Oops. Nope. <clears throat> There's a ground here next to the red. So, gotta leave that open. green, yellow, and okay, these are numbered backwards. All right, <laughs> start that again. So we're going to start here. Blue goes on one, green goes on two, yep, yep. yellow goes up on three. Orange goes on four. And now the red goes here on VCC. This should be all set up. It should be wired. All right, I think we're ready to test. Okay, I made the risky decision to actually upload the firmware again to the Arduino. Just wanted to make sure everything was set. And now though, as I'm moving around, it's setting off the, uh... don't know if you can hear that, but it's setting off the sensor. It's setting off the sequence, I should say. So, sounds like it's working, and I can actually see on the screen over there, it, it's running through the, uh, the program. Now I guess it all comes down to the programming of the, uh, of the Arduino, so that I can have it do what I want it to do. 
looks like it's working so I didn't fry my board trying to uh, suck out that uh, solder from it so that's good so I'm actually pretty happy right now okay so that's the uh, the relays that's the Arduino right here and the PIR sensors down here so I'm gonna trigger the PIR sensor So it's got a five second delay. I had switched it, it originally had a 30 second delay on it. I switched it so that it was just a five second delay. And that is the one uh, thing about uh, doing it on the computer, programming it on the computer. It Going from 30 seconds to five seconds, it was just a simple matter of deleting 30 and typing in five. He's got some audio files in here. Uh, ambient, scare sequence, uh, zombie horde, monster. So then down here it just says transfer. I gotta choose the destination destination drive. I'm gonna choose G. What the hell is trashes? And now I'm gonna hit transfer and see what happens. Done. All right. Now this is the uh, the MP3 player here. Going to insert the card in here. This is the ambient sound that would be playing in the background. The other track would be what would happen when you trigger the PIR sensor. So I'm going to do that right now. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty neat. All right. This is working. So I'm pretty excited about this. It's uh, still going off here, so I'm going to disconnect it. I have to get a case for it. Uh, I think Jason Becker said um, just like a pencil box or something like that. be fine to fit it in. So for $20, a couple of dollars more than $20, this is pretty good. I actually plan on buying at least uh, one more, probably a couple. Like I said, if I can do it, anybody can do it. As I said earlier, I don't think I'm going to go with the... Uh, duct tape body. I'm just going to go with a, uh, a skeleton. Now that I've got this out of the way, I'll maybe start working on that. So if you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you don't already do so. Okay, thanks for watching.